Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at the 2.4 update to Mixed Vibes Cross DJ. This update just came out yesterday, so if you are a Cross DJ user, go to mixvibes.com and download the update there. With this update came a couple of smaller features like the new sampler design, new controller mappings, and numerous bug fixes and software enhancements. However, the two big ones are 4Deck Mode and Sync Link. So let's first take a look at 4Deck Mode. Right now we are using a 2-deck mode, but if we want to go ahead and enable the 4-deck mode, we can simply go up to the top menu, click on View, and then select Players slash Samplers C and D. So it's going to go ahead and add the additional 2-decks underneath Deck A and B. If we go back to the View menu, now we have the option of C and D Details. In this menu, you have the choice of selecting what deck type you use for C and D. You can choose how you have the samplers and players set up. So you could have two samplers, two players, or one player and one sampler. You can also choose whether the player will show locators and cover art. So with the ability to mix four decks at a time, we also get the ability to output four stereo pairs of audio. So I'm gonna exit this menu here, and then I'm gonna go into the preferences. Then I'm gonna go to the audio tab. If you go down to the routing mode and change it from simple stereo to external mixer, you'll see that you now have control of the four stereo output pairs as long as your sound card can support that number of outputs. There is one downside about using four players or four samplers, and that is the amount of space that they take up on the screen. There are two new options that help relieve this problem a little bit. So we're going to go to the display tab, and here you can see two different options there at the bottom. The first is only display four locators and players, and the second is only display four pads in samplers where possible. If I go ahead and click only display four locators and players, you'll see that it will only show four locators for each player. Also, if I was using two samplers on deck C and D instead of one sampler and one player, I could select only display four pads in samplers where possible, and then it would only show you four sample slots. Now let's go to the general tab to check out the other big addition to the software, which was sync link. So we're gonna go to the general tab, and here you can see we have the option for sync link. We'll go ahead and enable that, and then we can exit out of the preferences. When you enable sync link, you'll see that above the pitch slider on every single player, there is a new master option. If you're familiar with the way that the master clock works in a program like Tractor Pro 2 or in Ableton Live, then you'll be familiar with how it's going to work in Mix Vibes Cross DJ 2.4. Essentially, you set one deck to the master and then everything else syncs to that. When you stop playing the master track, some other track will be switched to the master and it will keep everything in sync. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and drag a track into my player and I will go and drag a second one. So right now you see that deck A is set to the master. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sync this track on the right. So I'll go and then I will press play. So now it's going to sync up those two tracks using the beat grid. And now if I go ahead and stop playing this first track, you'll see that it automatically switches the master to the track on the right. So that is an overview of the new features in the Mix Vibes Cross DJ 2.4 update. Thanks for watching.